Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can add geometrical tolerance to the drawing views in the drafting workbench of Kids Area 5. So in front of us uh, there is a sheet mill component that is the uh, holder clip component opened up uh, which is a CAD part file. So the basic requirement is that uh, a part file should be open and as well as a drafting workbench should be open. So let me open up uh, the drafting workbench. Let me insert the first view. You have one view over here. Just insert it by clicking somewhere outside, and you have the view being created here. And now, <coughs> Let me just uh, give you an idea of what the geometrical tolerance to the drawing views is about. In the shop floor drawings, you need to provide various other parameters along with the dimensions and the dimensional tolerances. These parameters can be a geometric tolerance. Uh, these parameters can be a geometric condition, material condition and so on. All these types of parameters are defined using the geometric tolerance. To add the geometric tolerance to the drawing views, choose the geometric tolerance tool from the uh, tolerance drop down of the dimension toolbar. So as you can see the dimension toolbar is over here and this is the geometrical tolerance option over here. You have two ways, two ways of uh, invoking this particular geometric tolerance tool. One is by going to insert dimensioning, tolerancing and the geometric tolerance all is going to the dimensioning toolbar in the uh, tolerance drop down over here you can see this geometric tolerance here so click on that and then a select a dimension or feature element or define leader arrowhead location uh, will be specified in the status bar over here so select the element to add the geometric tolerance so what you are going to do is uh, you're going to add a geometric tolerance so basically I'm going to do a rough geometric tolerance here so in here I'm going to give uh, a value of uh, 0 0.03 and that's uh, reference will be say A now I click OK so you have this particular tolerance being created so let me insert one more factor as the datum feature so I'll name the datum feature as A over here okay and I need the central lines so okay so uh, some of the things which I'm showing in this tutorial uh, won't be explained in much of a detail because uh, that might be explained in my previous tutorials. So I uh, highly, recommend, highly, highly recommend that you go through my previous basic tutorials on drafting workbench. So let me explain you the uh, basic uh, tools or the basic things that you need, you need to be knowing about uh, the uh, tolerancing tool. So go to insert dimensioning, tolerancing, geometric tolerance and once you click on this uh, particular axis line you get the tolerancing click and you can give a value say 5 so let me just uh, give a datum feature before that uh, let's just say I'm giving a B over here and again I'm giving C over here and then I'm linking them 0 0.05 BC which we created just now so we have a uh, few options or a few uh, spaces over here so I'm going to explain you what exactly all those uh, places are meant to be so what you can see over here is the insert symbol and you can see this is the primary data and text and this is the previous line to previous line button and this is the next line button 
and this is the third datum text, this is the second datum text, and uh, this is the lower text, the upper text, the tolerance feature modifier, the tolerance value, what you can insert over here. So this is all about the uh, spaces which you need to cover in the geometric tolerance window. So uh, what is this tolerance Tolerance over here? The option in the tolerance area are used to specify the geometric conditions of uh, the tolerance and the values of the tolerance. To do so, choose the tolerance feature modifier button from the tolerance area flyer will be displayed. So once you click on this, you can see this flyout over here, and then enter the value of the tolerance. So you need to specify the required type of geometric tolerance, geometric conditions over here. So which is the condition which you have, you need to select, and then you need to give the value of the uh, tolerance. And then enter the value, and then you can go for the next, that is a reference. So the options in the reference area of the geometric tolerance dialog box are used to define the references for applying the tolerance. After specifying the geometric conditions and the value of tolerance, define the primary reference for applying the tolerance in the primary datum text edit box. The secondary datum text edit box will be invoked after you specify the primary reference. As we have done over here, you can specify the secondary reference in the datum text edit box. After the specifying the secondary datum edit box, the third datum reference edit box will be invoked. This edit box is used to define the third reference. The upper text edit box is used, which is over here, is used to specify the text about the geometric tolerance value. Sp similarly, the lower text edit box is used to specify the text below the geometric tolerance value which you can see over here. The next line button in the geometric uh, tolerance dialog box is used to move the next line to define the parameters for specifying the second geometric tolerance. When you choose this button, another set of tolerance and reference area is displayed. You can set the tolerances in these areas. The previous line button from the next line button is used to return back to the previous line and then the insert symbol which you can see over here the insert symbol flyout so once you click on the flyout you can see so it can be used to insert symbols in this geometric tolerance box the reset button is used to set the parameters of the geometric tolerance to default <coughs> which you can see over here the reset button and after specifying all the parameters choose ok button from the geometric tolerance dialog box and you can get the particular uh, values which you have uh, entered so that's all about uh, the working uh, the working of uh, the tolerance tool in the drafting workbench of Kateri 5 so I hope you enjoyed and I uh, hope uh, you uh, got an idea how and uh, uh, what what features are available in the geometric tolerance tool in the drafting workbench of Kateri 5 so I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching